Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial. This time it's going to be about how to quickly rig your character using Mixamo plugin. I've shown you previously how to rig a character individually, like when you actually create all of your joints and you create all the constraints and everything. So I think it's really important for you to understand how rigging works. But if you need something fast, this is the way to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is Calico. I've seen her before in previous tutorials where I use Mixamo to make her dance and I also use Mixamo to get her to walk and do some end cloth stuff. She's uh you know she's doing a lot of work for me. So this time we're going to be using this model to quickly rig her using Mixamo. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our model. Let's go ahead and go to file export selection and we're going to be using FBX. So I'm going to go ahead and choose FBX. I'm going to make a folder called FBX. And as you can see, it's in my scene. So I have an FBX folder here and I'm just gonna call her Calico. And I'd like to put FBX just to make sure I can find it later. Now let's go to Mixamo. All right, you need to log in. This is a free product for Adobe. Let's go ahead and upload a character. This is where you can upload your FBX. Now I know I'm kind of going through this very quickly, but I'm again, I'm assuming you've seen my videos about Mixamo before where I thoroughly go over it. So feel free to watch those videos if you want a step-by-step -step process. But right now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and import Calico's FBX. There it is. It's gonna load. And actually this is fairly fast. There she is, I should have smoothed her. Um, looks good, I can kind of rotate her around if I want to. And uh, yep, looks good, let's go next. And now we're gonna place these little guys on her chin, on her wrist, her elbows, her knees, and then her groin. Next, taking its sweet time, there it is. And now you can see the character, click next, next. And now that she's in a T-pose, I can select one of these previews and you can see a bunch of fun things that she can actually do. So if I want something dramatic, you can, but I'm looking for something called T-pose. So if I go ahead and select T-pose, what I'm looking for is this one. This is just a simple T-pose with all the joints and now I'm ready to download. So let's go ahead and download. The default is fine. Let's go ahead and click on download. This is also going to export an FBX, so keep that in mind. And now I'm ready to go in back into Maya. So I'm gonna move her backwards and then um, I have my T-pose right here and I'm gonna go ahead and bring her in. All right. Oops, and now you can see that this character is got parented together somehow, even though I labeled it. So I'm gonna shift P this and I'm gonna grab the old one and just kind of scoot her down. So she's missing her eyes a little creepy but that's okay and I'm going to select her eyes and assign the existing materials eyes all right let me hide this one the old one we probably don't need it I'm just going to hide it and uh you don't see anything but let's go to show show joints and you probably should have seen this which is the joints and we start off with the hips so the hips is the main one that controls and you can see that there's a little bit of a keyframe but this is the one that controls the full body Joints are looking a little large, so let's go to display, display animation joint size, and I can go ahead and reduce this to something like maybe 0.3 or even smaller, maybe 0.2. So again, I don't need to see all of the joints. So you can see that everything's looking pretty good and we have the hips and now we're ready to continue on. All right, so next we need is the Mixamo Auto Control Rig Plugin. You can find this in the links below in academicphoenixplus.com. In the Mixamo folder, you're gonna find directions on how to use it. Here it is, it's a PDF. It kind of explains to you step-by-step step on how to do it. I'm gonna show you. Now, first though, we need to install the plugin. So that's the first thing we need to do. So I'm gonna show you that. But let me save this first. Let's go ahead and install the plugin. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is copy all of these files. I'm going to do a control C and I need to go into my documents. Now I'm using a PC. So for a Mac, it's a little bit different, but in general, uh, Macs, you guys have like a Maya 2020. In PCs, we have a documents Maya. You're going to go into 2020, go into scripts, and you're gonna paste it. 
Okay, so that is basically how it works so far. So what that means is that Maya is now going to look into scripts whenever you open Maya. All right, so over here to the bottom right, there is a script editor. Go ahead and open that up. And you can see that I'm kind of messing around here, but there's also a Mel and a Python tab. And you need to go ahead and open up the Python tab. So next we need to run the Python. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to File, in the script editor, go to File, Open Script. And we're going to grab the Python file here. So you can see that it says PY at the end. That's a Python file. So go ahead and open that. It's going to give you this. And now we just need to run it. So to run it, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The way I'm used to doing it is Control A, which is select all and then Control Enter. And you'll notice that a window popped up. So this is really important because this is the window that we need. However, I don't want to keep doing this every single time. So I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. And I'm going to go into my custom bar because I can actually take this information and place it as a button. So up here at the top, we have a couple of tabs and one of them is called custom. And in previous tutorials, I've shown you guys how to create your own custom buttons, but I'm going to show you again. So what you're going to do is grab this information and you're just going to middle mouse and drag it up here, which is going to create a button. This is a Python button. So basically what I did is just create a button with this command. Now I'm going to right click on the button and click on edit. And you can see that the same information that was on here is now in this command window. So let's go ahead and go into shelves. Over here, we have an icon name and it's got a Python family PNG. I don't want that one. What I want is my own one. And actually they provided for us. So let's go to documents, Maya 2020. I'm gonna go into scripts. I've got my, oh, there it is. You can see already that it's, there's, there's a shelf button there. So perfect, I'm gonna select that. And you can see that the Mixamo icon has now uploaded here. So save all, and then I can close this. So now what I can do is click on this and the button will automatically open up the Mixamo auto control window. So that's great. Okay, so next we're gonna grab the Mixamo hips, which is basically the root joint, the main one. And we're gonna click on this button called rig character. And it's gonna think for a little bit. And wow, it is enormous. So as you can see, this is a huge file. So I'm gonna undo. And we're starting from here. Now I'm noticing that this Calico model is causing me problems. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and delete it. Go ahead and try this again. This is the model. Xamo knows that it's an issue. So I'm gonna click on create override bounding box. So I'm gonna have to go in and scale it dramatically. It looked like it needed a lot of scaling. 0 0.05. So you can see that the bounding box is working. It's still really big on my character. Obviously she's tiny. So um, let's go ahead and undo that again. And I'm gonna keep trying and I'll be right back. All right, so my bounding box is at 0 0.001. So really, really tiny. And just clicking on the bounding box, go ahead and click on rig character and let it do its magic. And there you go, she is now rigged which is pretty amazing. So let's take a look at the rig. Over here, we have a head control. You can see that you only can rotate it. So we can always grab this and just rotate the head. You also have her body. So again, you can t rotate her body around. Right now she's in FK, so you can actually put her in FK, which is great. She's got fingers, which is also really handy. And uh, you may have to go in and do some painted weights, but in general, that should give you a rig enough to be able to get some animation started. Explore the, uh, the controllers. So here's an FK IK switch. So now we're in IK mode and now I can move this around in IK. And uh, yeah, you can do this, move the stuff around. Awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna hide the ground and we can move her legs around. They're in IK mode. You can move this around as well. So, and then you can always switch, which is nice. They actually switch it to FK, which, you know, if she's swimming or swinging in a swing or something, she can just use that instead of IK. So, yeah, there you go. That, um, I know that this is a really fast way of rigging, which is great. Sometimes you don't want to start from scratch. Again, I do encourage you guys to understand how to paint weights. Make sure that you learn how to rig your own character so that you understand what's happening here. Because as an animator, it probably is a good idea to learn how to communicate with riggers. And also, 
also feel free to take a look at my other videos on how to create blend shapes so your character can start having face expressions. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. If, if you learned something and or liked it, feel free to click on that like button and of course, subscribe. If you feel that this video was helpful for anybody else out there, any animators that have a character and they really want to animate their character and don't want to rig it themselves, this would be a great way to do it. So feel free to share my video with anybody that could use this. Uh, that would be wonderful. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I know there's a lot of video tutorials out there, so I really appreciate you taking the time to spend it with me. And yeah, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com where you can find free models, free eBooks, free trainings, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.